I'm not sure if this is a thing that we should be doing or anyone should be doing. It feels weird even speaking about it because it's so secret. Good evening, everybody. Hello and welcome to the ED show. Last night, I apologised to anybody that tried to join us on our first live broadcast that uh, basically turned out to be a bit of a disaster, but I don't think it was just us and I don't think it was just technology failure. I do happen to believe that there was something else involved too. I don't think the DS particularly wanted our subject matter to be going out um, we were getting tremendous interference. Um, I just don't buy that it was completely all technology. So um, I'm doing this retrospectively uh, to bring you, you guys what the message or what we were trying to do um, in terms of us getting this video out there. The deep fake sort of scenarios and things like that, I think have been with us for some time. I think the world is a stage. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty convinced of that. And I do believe that we have been hoodwinked into believing this non-reality or this kind of reality that we live is the reality in which um, everything is real. When in effect, we got DS actors and the world stage actors. We know the Hollywood, for instance, has body doubles and things like that. I believe Johnny Depp um, has had a famous photograph with three of his uh, body doubles and things like that. I'm not a Johnny Depp fan, I'm not a Hollywood fan per se. Um, after finding out uh, certain horror stories to do with them, so I'm going to draw your attention to what came around over Christmas. And what came around over Christmas was quite interesting because we had the usual Queen speech, or unusual, but usual for the new normal. And um, then Channel 4 did their bit. And Channel 4 did what I thought was quite Brilliant. And I'm going to share you some, a uh, little bit of a clip of that, where they exposed that we do have deep fakes. And it is possible with technology. The Telegraph um, did a report on it as well, saying that it's scary where we can go now. For instance, you know, you get somebody that you believe is there, and they're not. You know, so you could be looking at the prime minister of this country. And it's not the prime minister of this country. In fact, it's an actor and they've superimposed the head and they've shown that that's quite easy to do. Now, I don't want to play into the conspiracy sort of aspect of there's been mass arrests even though I do believe there is takedowns happening, and I do believe that there are white hats out there that are doing stuff. I'd like to draw your attention to what I discovered on Channel 4. So if you are new to this, or you didn't see what Channel 4 put out there, I would recommend taking a look and doing your own research to see the possibility that in actual fact, you know, things could be being played out. As they said in the James Bond movie, I forget which one it was, but they said, I think it was one with Pierce Brosnan. I, I, I'm not sure. You know, the one with Halle Berry, I believe. I, I can't bet my life on it. You know, and please do correct me in the comments if, uh, if you know the right one. But I believe there was a, a villain in that that said, and I think, you know, caught in, it's not word for word, he who controls the media controls the world. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, the first time I came around, um, or 
came into sort of knowing the possibility of deep fakes or CGI or anything to do with that was going back to my early years with um, Bruce Lee. I was a Bruce Lee fan and I became aware that in 1973 Bruce Lee died. However, um, there was a film released in 1978 called The Game of Death, which had Bruce Lee footage in it, but it wasn't completely filmed for Bruce Lee or by Bruce Lee. So what basically happened, um, if anybody isn't aware, um, there was prejudice um, against Bruce Lee because he was Asian. We now know, well, you'd like to think we know, um, the racism is the most stupid thing in the world. You know, um, we're all here having an experience and it doesn't matter what body you're in, every life matters. Um, it's very important that every person matters no matter who or what, what they are, you know, what, what they believe or things like that. It's not going to harm in anybody, you know. Um, but back then, um, Hollywood wouldn't have a bar of him. And, you know, he had tremendous talent, as we all now know, because everybody sort of really um, thinks, you know, the world of Bruce Lee and, and, and you know, he's, he's revered as one of the best martial artists of the 21st century, if not the best. And, you know, he is somebody that is, is worshipped, you know, like royalty in the martial arts world. But back in 1960s and stuff like that, they, they didn't want to know him in Hollywood. So he would get not so good roles. He went to Hong Kong, he had his break, he smashed box office um, records and things like that. And one of his friends that was in Hollywood, who brought us the Karate Kid, I believe, um, I think his name was Jerry Weintraub, um, you know, suddenly, you know, after, they, they proved that Bruce Lee was a bankable commodity and he had talent and everything else like that. He managed to get Warner Brothers interested in him. So Warner Brothers and Jerry f sort of went to Hong Kong whilst he was filming this, this game of death. And they convinced him to suspend filming the movie so that they could get him to do a new project, which was a collab, which had never been done between an Asian and an American studio before, which brought us into The Dragon, which has recently been on Netflix and different things like that, and was probably one of the best martial arts movies of, of all time. Anyway, um, it was obviously the intention uh, of Lee to go back and finish The Game of Death. He or his sort of company had pre-sold it to Japan for quite a considerable sum of money. So um, Golden Harvest, who was part of the Concord Productions, of the Bruce Lee company, had sort of committed themselves to bring out a full version of Game of Death. You know, it had been pre-sold to a few countries. So they wanted to go out there and make a new movie. Problem was they only had a certain amount of footage that Lee had shot before he died. So with that, um, they had, you know, to have sort of doubles in and, you know, it, there was certain, it was a good, bad movie, but there was, there was certain elements of it that really didn't work. And I'm about to show you my first ever experience of CGI, which was back in 1978, the movie came out and, um, you know, I'll let you guys be the judge, but it's, it's, it's awful. A man has got to have all of his parts to make it. Don't you agree with that, Billy? Get the hell out of here. Uh, it's uh, getting a little late. Well, Sitting right there by the telephone, just waiting for you to call. But patience, that's not one of our virtues. Don't 
a slow learner, Billy. <laughs>
possibly clones and you know the the sort of um we're going down the conspiracy route you know um just going down the route of you know perhaps the world we think is the world isn't the world that we think it is and if you haven't worked out what this channel is about yet um we look at reactions we look at certain talking points to get you going and that's all we do and we don't proclaim to have all the answers i don't proclaim to have all the answers i definitely don't have all the answers i do have a lot of support and i thank you for the people who have been subscribing and joining and supporting us right? so we're just a small channel and we've never got any ambitions of getting anything too big but we do thank you for for subscribing to us and you know all we want to do is contribute to waking people up to what might be you know that's all we want to do you know just getting people to start critically thinking start thinking well actually is that man on telly that's telling me to do this or do that real is that him or her or whoever is that the real person or is that cgi it's interesting isn't it it's an interesting concept and the last thing i want to say about this channel just in case it confuses anybody is we know that when we challenge the narrative that we got the chance of getting taken down. I don't care about that. You know, I, it's not about ego, it's not about anything in this channel. This is just about sharing information together and freedom of speech, which they're trying to suppress. And I question why. I know why, but I question why. And I dare you guys to question why. And that's what this channel is about. Sticking together and coming together so that we can't be suppressed. But also, just for anybody that's new or doesn't quite get the theme, what we do, we put together videos like this, that question certain narratives, but then we'll throw in one that's completely left field, that's got nothing to do with questioning the narrative, that's to throw off the algorithm so we can survive just a little bit longer before the inevitable takedown happens to this channel. And that's all we're doing. So if you see a random one of our art, and then the next thing you'll see us promoting Charlie Ward, and the next thing you'll see us promoting Simon Parks or Shasta Stone or any of these brilliant truthers, um, that's what we're really about, the truth. And coming together as humanity. You know, that's what we're really about. And if you can like and subscribe and give us your support and help us get the messages out there. It's not about us growing as a channel. It's just about getting the message out there. That's what we'd really appreciate because when you're a small channel like this one, um, it's harder to grow. It really is um, in the beginning. And um, it's going to be quite a challenge for us to get up to about a thousand subs. Once we get up to a thousand subs, it's not so bad. So you can have the message get out there. We've got some good viewing times. So um, hopefully, um, and you know, if you're watching this and you think, well, I can join them or, you know, for an interview, feel free. We'll have anybody on that wants to spread truth. And also, if you're getting inspired to do your own channel to spread truth because the more of us that come together the better so god bless everyone <laughs>